This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. What's up? It's your boy, the Fed Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land, The Podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. Unfortunately, what you're about to hear is real. The members of this radio program are simply not that bright. Or what some people would call educated. They are merely stupid. They're not trying to offend anyone on purpose. And all have played doctors on TV. You have been warned and are cordially invited to join the party. This is the men's room. Forget it, man, and get with the countdown. Get, 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 get with the countdown. Shake this square world and blast off the Kicksville. Kicks. <laughs> The trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy and flying high as a kite. This is the men's room with Miles and Thrill. You know what they say, shake your radio more than three times and you're playing with it. You're listening to the men's room. Out of way we go. Welcome to season 16 and episode number 3,524. It works. <laughs> Along with Steve the Thrill Hill. <laughs> the Ted Smith. Woo! And my car. I'm Montgomery. And you are in the men's room. On tap today, once again, we play Big Dummy. Ted's meat and potato celebrates the mighty s'more. We will play Profile This. Plus headlines, a men's room shot of the day, fun with listener emails, and everyone's favorite, TV time with Ted. Clack, clack. We're going to draw. All right, here we go. Road rage incidents gets a little heated in shoreline when a guy throws an axe at a car. <laughs> Meanwhile, a woman in Indonesia crashes her ex-boyfriend's wedding and get ready for something truly bizarre. To Canada, we're landing helicopter to get Dairy Queen is apparently not allowed. When you fake being a doctor, that will not make your parents proud. And everyone was real close to getting a new pair of alpaca socks. <laughs> but no cigar. <laughs> that is all coming on today's very special episode of The Men's Room. And now, here's the question. All oh, bitches, good day to you and yours. All right, today is the day that we play Big Dummy. The game show that rewards you for your stunning ignorance. And here's how it works. You call us. We will spin. I'm getting yeah. there, bro. Come on, man. We will spin the category wheel, and then we'll ask you a question from that category. But here's where Big Dummy separates itself from your average, more reputable game show. We will continue to ask you questions until you get one right. Because as always, we want you to leave here smarter than you showed up. Now, so far this year, our biggest dummy is a two-headed monster, Rachel and Tyler, both of whom thought ball bearings referred to indecent exposure and found a way to answer 14 consecutive questions wrong. Can you do better? Well, of course you can. Everyone else has. So give us a call, and off we go on Big Dummy. To be a contestant to play Big Dummy, call 206-421-ROCK. Like The Men's Room on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Men's Room Live, and send those emails to themensroom at KISW.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, 
six million dollars. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big, and Phillips Law has been fighting the too big to fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1 800 Justice or visit justiceforyou.com. Geico asks, How would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters' coverage. Plus, add an easy to use mobile app, available 24 hour roadside assistance, and more, and Geico is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to Geico.com or contact your local agent today. Start summer up by mixing things up with top paint and stain brands at Lowe's. Shop HGTV Home by Sherwin Williams, Valspar, Cabot to find the perfect pop of color or classic shade you've been looking for. And don't forget to prep your deck for the season with reliable wood stain and sealer. Now's the perfect time to complete your paint or stain project. Lowe's. All things summer, all at the right price. The shenanigans continue. This is the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. 99.9 KISW. All well, the shows and away we go. Welcome to season 16 and episode number 3,524. What a large and in charge program we have for you today. That is a fact. Guaranteed future repeat. The head chef is back. And uh, today, uh, believe it or not, it's, uh, it's National S'more Week. So the s'more is so popular, it doesn't have a day, it has an entire week. An entire week. Hell yeah. yeah. Loaded to the s'more. And there's all kinds of different s'more products out there, and uh, uh, the head chef's going to bring us a, a different styled s'more product to try, from what we understand. Good to made uh, s'mores last night outside of my home, apparently, is... Basically, I five was on fire. Oh, so I thought you had a fire, fire pit. You know? No, 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 okay. no. But uh, yeah, there was a nice fire raging. Like, hey, kids, grab the marshmallows. Let's go. Let's go and get some hot dogs. That would be an interesting picture. It yeah. would be because there was another fire down the street. So really, all of the neighbors could have divided it up. Yeah. Like, we'll take the Impromptu. north one. And you take the south. Bring you guys ever cook dogs packs? in the fireplace? We have not done it. No, I mean, the only time I've done that is on a camping trip. All right. That, that is not Do you know anyone who's cooked hot dogs in the fireplace? I don't. But it's out. I, like, I'm like, I guess it's dirtier than just, like, cooking a marshmallow in there. But I'm like, I don't know. Uh, who knows? I don't know. Give it a shot, man. It's all about the s'mores coming up, though, with the head <laughs> chef and, uh, and, and Ted's meat and potatoes. Uh, later on, more Men's Room with the Men's Room Happy Hour. If you've never uh, checked out the Men's Room Happy Hour, Monday through Friday at 6 o'clock, right, mm-hmm. uh, right here in this studio, but not on the KISW Airways. Wow. You you get more Men's Room exclusively on Odyssey and on the Odyssey app. And then when you download it for free, either at the App Store or Google Play, what you do is just search for the Men's Room, and you'll see the Men's Room appy. A-P-P-Y. Get it? Like happy. But it's on an app. So it's appy. And from there, we get to do some more Men's Room off the air and uh, do different topics like Big Dirty Dummy today and the return of Noah Sherlock. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be... Uh, uh, just two quick notes about the appy hour. First of all, Miles came up with the name Appy Hour. Mm-hmm. All of us were like, yeah, the boss hated it. So it's still called the Appy Hour. One point that he really didn't like that name at all. No, not at all. Uh, the other thing is we get a lot of emails about this for those people that have checked it out and wanted to hear more or those people looking to find it. We are diligently trying to work along with the bosses so that these things will be on the loop. So right now they're like, look, you can only hear it live. Right when when you, correct you can't hear it again, and a lot of people it's just not convenient at the time we do it. I understand. And look, so we are trying to convince them that it'd be a very good idea. Start with the first one we yeah. did through whatever number we are now, and just put them on a loop up until we go well, live again. Don't ask so we us. are trying to address. Don't them. ask us how we got picked for this, but uh, we're one of about uh, I want to say four shows in the company, maybe five, mm-hmm. that are doing an exclusive thing with the Odyssey app. So this is a brand new thing. We're trying it out, and uh, you know, small steps, so to speak. But yeah, how much ours is the dirtiest. It probably, Out of the other people that said they're using yeah, it. I, I would have to think that, uh, yeah, if they put this on a corporate, they're like, oh, my God, what are they doing in Seattle? I mean, there's there's absolutely <laughs> no FCC this, regulation. Was, That's all, man. This is a bad idea. This might have been a really bad idea. But, yes, uh, join us for the Men's Room Happy Hour, episode number 17, coming up at 6 o'clock right here uh, once we uh, get off the air. But only on the Odyssey app. All right, the game is uh, Big Dummy. It's an easy game to play. We will spin the category wheel. You're either playing for Team Sober or Team Not Sober. So far, we've had a two-way tie this year on our biggest dummies. That would be Rachel and Tyler, who took 14 questions to get one right. 
Now, every time we do play the game known as Big Dummy, we like to do a men's room poll. Yeah. And I believe it was in uh, honor of the men's room app. Are. Basically, we can say anything we want on there. So oh, right, right, right. We asked you to pick one word to never use or say again. Now, your options were bitch, the F word, ass, and the S word. And if you happen to follow us on Twitter at Men's Room Live, we always put the poll up there. And we let you vote on the word that you would never want to say again. And by far, the one word people refuse to give up. In the English language, as far as being dirty, that would be the F bomb. Yeah, Came in at come about on, nine percent or so, nine or ten percent on that one. Uh, number three was the S word at thirteen percent, and it was almost. Then how do I explain to people what I'm doing in the bathroom? It was almost a two way tie for uh, between ass and bitch. Uh, <laughs> bitch got thirty eight percent of the vote. Ass just barely squeaked by. And now, what's funny, no is, pun intended, at thirty nine percent. And those two were used in conjunction more than any other uh, cuss word. Right? Mm-hmm. Look at this bitch ass. Yeah, all of them. I mean, trust me. If you're on a roll, all these can be incorporated in probably very easy. So listen to the men's room happy hour. Uh, today on the poll, all right, we uh, we decided we're going to be a little bit more grown up today. Uh, instead of like, what cuss word uh, would you never use again? It seems a little childish, you know what that's I mean? What, you get older, right. you start reflecting, and you go, dude, we're better than this, right? We are better than this. And that's why on the, on the poll this week, uh, we're going to change the dynamic of when you fart. So, in other words, every single time you fart for the rest of your life, it will be one of these sounds. That doesn't mean it stinks any worse than that's on your diet, yeah. but this is just the noise it will make. <laughs> this is the audio that will play, just like the sound of your fart. And let's face it, there's all kinds of different farts. You get a squeaky door or something. Sometimes you get, mm-hmm. you get uh, those you are know, the bad ones. You get machine gun. Uh, pu- 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 you get the ones where you're walking and every step seems to be another fart. There's you had a fart of- yesterday that sounded like somebody punched Vaseline. Well, it was had- just a straight. <laughs> you got to remember, man. Uh, once I got Ooh, that, uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was wet. Once I once I got that hemorrhoidectomy, man, they really tightened that side up. So you get a little more whistler or something? Yeah, or? you know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's it's a little bit more taut, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I go to the bathroom now, it looks like silly string. But, uh, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a higher pitch, so I to got speak. you, I got you. Where yours has been used a lot, and it's more of like a, uh, it's more of a bass, you know what I mean? It's got a little bit That's more. That's why I play bass. Absolutely. Mimic my own butthole. So, uh, choice one, every time you fart, uh, we're going to go with uh, Roadrunner. Meep, meep. That would be the sound. <laughs> Every time you you're at a steak dinner, man, you have to <laughs> one cheek sneak, and there you go. You'll be the road runner. Our next up would be Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> right, trying to sneak one out in the movie theater. <laughs> hey, turn your phone off. It ain't my phone, man. <laughs> I had a fart. <laughs> Choice number three: Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Which would be equally as entertaining. It is. And your fourth choice, the legendary Porky Pig. That's all, folks. That's it. That's your choices. I think I'm one Porky. You're going to go Porky Pig? Yeah. That's all, folks. I think I'm going to go Woody Woodpecker. Really? <laughs> I just think it's... Uh, I mean, farts are already funny. They are funny. So, you know, the laughing seems to... Uh, okay. All right. There you go. Make I think us- I'm going Roadrunner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just because... I don't know. It so suits more- you. So I'm looking at you yeah. right now in a picture. Like, if you made that sound and I know you're farting, I'd, honest to God, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like <laughs> I... <laughs> Yeah, Ted farted. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh. Like a Monday after a good <laughs> football Sunday, there's going to be a few... Uh... Meep, meep. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken wings were involved. Right, that's what I'm yeah. saying. There's a lot of beer, questionable food choices. Fried appetizers. Men's room poll, make the sound when you fart. Will it be the Roadrunner, Wood, uh, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone, or Porky Pig? There is your men's room poll. All right, the game is uh, Big Dummy 206-421-ROCK. Steve, who is our first contestant, ready to play the big game. Hello, Billy. Welcome to the men's room. Hey! Yeah. Hello, bitcholas. Hola. Hola. Billy, are you on Team Sober or Team Not Sober? I am working on Not Sober. Proper 12 with the Modelo. Okay. It's going to be that day today. Nice Irish day. whiskey, Mexican beer. I like yes, it. it. International man yes. of mystery. Yes. Wow, that, that's you, Billy. Yes, it is. Now, now, what will I have for dinner? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it involves I something a- a, that uh, Swanson made. <laughs> <laughs> hey, corned beef taco? Oh, no, I'm saying, no. I'm saying Salisbury no. steak. Uh, no. A little brownie, I the d- side pocket of corn, and the mashed potatoes. All in one no, container. I'm 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some burgers on the Traeger. Oh, yeah, I almost just said, but I could hear it in your voice. You're cooking burgers. Should have had a yeah. banger yeah, torta. All right, yeah, man. That's it. That's so, it. Uh, yeah. For the rest of your life, you got to make one sound when you fart. Will it be the Roadrunner, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone, or Porky Pig? I'm going with Porky Pig. Porky Pig it is. Okay. All right. Porky Pig. Yeah. Okay. Watch out, folks. All right, Billy, here's your first question. What state is located between Wisconsin and North Dakota? Minnesota. See you, Billy. Good talking to you. Yeah, very good. One Usually people screw that one up. By the way, I wrote down North Carolina. I'm like, wait, that, that, is, that is not that it. Is a lot That's a much states. bigger answer. That's a lot of states. Yeah. All right, the game is a big dummy. 206-421-ROCK. Hey! Hello, Davey. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, Hola. Hola. Davey, Team Sober there, driving? Team Sober. Okay, Davey, welcome to the program. All right, you got to make one sound when you fart for the rest of your life. Will you choose the Roadrunner? Yeah. Woody Woodpecker? Fred Flintstone or Porky Pig? V. Cud Smith made that Woody Woodpecker sound pretty good. Actually, yeah, no, it was the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner. That was a banger. There you go. You got Get in. Point. Whatever you need, David. All right. You know, and someone makes a good point here as we're talking about the sounds that your fart would make. Because we've all done this, men and women. It says the fellas, you have to choose one, but which sound do you let slip in the middle of sex? I'm sticking with uh, yeah, Road Run. Yeah, every time. I think yours is the least offensive. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just like, right, sorry, I slipped you on You can't it. sneak one during sex. Yes, you can. I mean, it depends on the smell. <laughs> I have done it, my brother. Well, I can't speak to the smell. Yeah, you, right. you want to finish sex, it's best not to. Yeah, I know, man. Just sometimes you've got to. Like, if I don't <laughs> do this, sex is going to come to an end. I'm sorry it had to happen. All right, here's your question. Multiple <laughs> choice. Multiple choice. Neanderthal, right. <laughs> Neanderthal, Homo erectus, or Australopithecus. Which human ancestor was the first to discover fire? Australopithecus? Neanderthal. Nope. Yeah. Homo erectus. Ooh. Homo erectus. Presumably when his buddy started screaming with this funny orange thing on him. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised there's not a bar named the Homo Erectus. <laughs> like a male review. <laughs> you know what I mean? How is there not? You know what I mean? Somebody do that. <laughs> not, it might be important. Yeah, the Homo Erectus. I dig it. All right. Homo Erectus just means he's straight up and he's standing up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's why the euphemism's perfect. Yeah. And man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's your question. What is the term for any four-sided figure? Quad. You need a little more. You got quad. <laughs> like a scientific term? Like any four sided figure would be uh, quadra quadratic? Quadrilateral. You're, you're tracking, man. You're tracking. Or the quad box. <laughs> Scott Hansen special. I want to hear him just say different. Like, give him nine. So, welcome to the Nana Box. Again, should be a menu item at the Bunny Ranch. The Quad Box. You know what you got. I think it is. <laughs> God, he loves that Quad Box. I feel like that's the one you see the most. I the feel Scott like Hansen. Scott, man, the Octabox is the one he gets real jacked up. He about. does. I'm just saying, I feel like Quad Box is the one, like, it's rare to see him during the first set of games without four games up there. I think he likes the Quad Box personally because it's easier for him to follow the games. But he likes to tell you about the Octabox, honestly, because I think he likes saying the word Octabox. Octabox. Well, there's only one time it happens, and that's 1 o'clock our time when there are games that are finishing and games that are starting right. that have a chance to score. So it's a, it's a small window, you know? Yeah. All right, here's question. What movie's first sequel featured the subtitle Road Warrior? That would be uh, Mad Max. Yes, it would be. There it is. There you go. The original Good. title was Angry Eddie. Yeah. But it just didn't uh, <laughs> didn't really didn't do anything for people. Angry Eddie. Angry Eddie, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Game is Big Dummy 206 421 Ron. Hello, Greg. Welcome to the men's room. Hello, Greg. Greg. Yeah, I'm here. Hola. All right. Greg. Hola. Greg, are you sober or not sober? Ha uh. <laughs> ha. Are you sober or not sober? <laughs> Well, I am presently uh, sober, soon to be not sober. All right. Welcome to the show, Greg. Okay, Greg, every time you fart, you're going to hear this sound for the rest of your life. 
Will it be Roadrunner, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone, or Porky Pig? Oh, oh man, I'm going to have to go with uh, the Roadrunner. Roadrunner. <laughs> Roadrunner. All right, someone here brings up a fine question. It says, gentlemen, please clarify this question. Will anyone else know it's a fart? I mean, could you do this in an elevator and no one knows? I think, yeah. You don't famous. have to know it's a fart. You'd it's be, just... You'd be famous for this. Absolutely. Yeah, they might say, hey, man, yes. what, why do I keep hearing that sound? Because I've been farting the entire time around the elevator. All right, your question. What is the capital of North Carolina? Oh, capital of North Carolina, Charlotte. Greenville? Nope. Asheville? Nope. Raleigh? Yes. I'm like, I know that you know enough cities in North Carolina. <laughs> Winston that Salem. Eventually, he's going to get Asheville. Asheville. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, just go, I was just going through College Town. Oh, I know. I know. Kerala. <laughs> All right. Here's your question. The fictional town of Haddonfield, Illinois, was the setting for what horror film? Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Paranormal Activity, or The Ring? I what would the uh, what was the first one? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Nightmare Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Nightmare on Elm Street. Nope. Uh, Any guesses? Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Halloween. Halloween. Well, I mean, it, it would have to be Halloween because I know the rain was here in Seattle. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, how did I know that? So now watch the movie tonight, Ted, and then think about that as you close your eyes and go to sleep over a warm cup of cocoa. All right. Your question, what are the names of the brothers, first names of the brothers in Oasis? And I know what you're thinking. No brothers in Oasis. No, I mean blood relation. They're related to each other. Uh, see, there's uh, no. Oh, jeez. Yep, that's one of them. They're very this British. It's always things. easier when I'm listening. One of them um, has a specific set of skills. Um, <laughs> Ringo and John. Ringo and John. It's Liam. Yes. Liam. Noel and Liam. Yeah. I thought Ted gave a great hint. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. Yeah. Well, Liam Neeson. His name's Liam. There you go. Liam Hemsworth. There's Liam Hemsworth. So another famous Liam. Oh, I'm sure if you're English, you're going crazy right now. No, 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 no. That does not count. That's like saying, how many DeBrickishaws? Well, we can name one in the States, bitch. What they're saying here that we know of. Hemsworth. Because think about it. None of them are from the U.S., right? You got Australia with yeah. Leah and what's-his-face. Yeah. You got, uh, what is he, Welsh or Scottish, I think, for Neeson? He's Irish, isn't he? Is he Irish? Yeah. Whatever, so. man. I'm close. And then uh, the, <laughs> the Gallagher brothers are from yeah. England. All right. Here's your question. What's the only bird that can fly backwards? Gee, you guys are really getting me with the questions I don't know. Uh, this this makes England. sense. This makes sense if you think about it. You've seen them You've do it. You've seen this. them do it. Yeah. It's one of those birds that when you see it, you're always like, oh, look, it's a... I have like a, a thousand of them in my yard. And I stare at them every time. I probably make them nervous. They're like the praying mantis of the bird world. You're like, whoa, look at that. Wow. Praying mantis of the bird world. I mean, I would have to say uh, the pigeons, seagulls, pigeons. Nope. Yeah. It would be the no. ever destructive hummingbird. Hummingbird. But I like the idea of walking down the street and watching a pigeon fly backwards. So gonna, you're going to finish this thing? It'd be really cool to see him walk backwards. Hey, uh, Greg, hang on the line for us, man. We're going to head to a break. Okay, question number six coming up. But more Big Dummy, if you'd like to be a contestant, 206-421-ROCK. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. 
And when it comes to great rates on insurance, GEICO can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Start summer up by mixing things up with top paint and stain brands at Lowe's. Shop HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams, Valspar, Cabot to find the perfect pop of color or classic shade you've been looking for. And don't forget to prep your deck for the season with reliable wood stain and sealer. Now's the perfect time to complete your paint or stain project. Lowe's. All things summer, all at the right price. You're in the men's room. Game is up, Big Dummy 206 421 Rock. We've got Greg still on hold. He's playing for Team Sober, working on question number six. Yes, indeed. Greg, welcome back to the program. Hey, thank you. Hola. Yeah. And the time that you were waiting, uh, we have stumbled on to some other things. Uh, Miles, you brought up the praying mantis. Mm hmm. Someone here says, did you know that a praying mantis, if it's big enough, will eat a hummingbird? They'll hang out on the feeders, wait for them to fly nearby, then grab them and eat them. That's Damn. a beautiful picture. And then regarding Liam's, I don't know if this guy's famous, Liam Stewart. Anyone, does that ring a bell for anyone? I mean, it sounds very Brit. Liam Stewart, well, he's the Football? son of Rod Stewart, and he played minor league hockey for the Spokane Indians. Get out of here. Yeah, I did not know that. Well, there's a baseball player named Liam Hendricks, but he's from Perth, Australia. Right, again. Right, and this Liam, Ing. Mm -hmm. All right, All right Greg, here's hey, your question. If I have a son, naming him Liam. Name him Liam? There you go. There's like a million Liams out there. I feel like they're all younger. They right? are, so, they so the are American younger. American Liams are coming. Right, there's a lot. <laughs> Look out, world! One of the most popular <laughs> names in the United States is Jose. I wonder if there's any English Jose's. <sighs> well, when you, I feel like if you're white, we just call you Joe. Yeah, but you actually name your kid Jose. So you're oh, like born see, in England yeah. and you named your kid Jose. Jose. I'm not seeing it. All right, here's your question. What breed of dog's evidence was first legally admissible in court? In other words, the judge and the jury would buy into the evidence presented by this breed of dog. Uh, Rottweiler. Come on, man. German Shepherd? No. Pitbull. Bloodhound. Bloodhound. Oh. Right? You're trying you follow the trail of whatever the perp is and Alright, here's your question. What is the common name, the common two word name for the Yucca Brivifolia? It's also a U two album. That's your hint. Mm-hmm. Uh Joshua Tree. There you, there you go. go. Nice there job. Go. Very, very good. Well done. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. And by the way, don't bother to tell me I pronounced that wrong. I'm sure I did. Hello, Trevor. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 Trevor, what team are you on today? Sober or not sober? I am sober because I'm still at work sitting on a backhoe. Sitting on a backhoe. Oh, oh, her yeah. name's Big Shirley. Oh, not the... Oh, a backhoe. Gotcha. Trevor, yeah. oh, that's not big. Sure, in the back of something. Okay, a men's room poll. Uh, make this sound every time you fart for the rest of your life. Trevor, will it be the road runner? It's got. It's got to be the road runner. Road runner. Meep, meep. Right. I want. I want the meat meat before I fart, and then the explosion when I fart. Meep, meep. Yeah. All right, I like it. Do whatever yeah. you want, man. Would you actually be happy? Say you go to the doctor, you have some weird digestive tract thing, and they're like, look. We can do this surgery, but one of the small side effects is that for the rest of your life, when you fart, you'll be healthy, perfectly healthy. But when you fart, it is going to sound like a road run. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I like you. All right, here's your question. True or false, heroin is a brand name. Heroin? Heroin. True. Huh. Yeah. That's right. Did not know that. Yeah. It's uh, like Bristol Myers heroin? It was Bear's version of morphine. So there's morphine, oh. and the bear put out their version of morphine, yeah. called it heroin, and now heroin's what we know it to be. So remember that, kids. If you're shooting heroin, you're doing the good stuff. That was brand name. They didn't have a TV commercial for that. You know what I mean? Like the aspirin and all the other products. They didn't have TVs. That's the only reason why. <laughs> Try bear heroin. <laughs>
I, I mean, there was print ads. There were print ads? Really? Uh, oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Could you cocaine, same way. Stuff. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they was all fun. about the elixirs and this and that. Cocaine was big in the dental world. Right? Dude, dude. Yeah, that's how you numbed up. Well, numbed as far up as the local goes. As Absolutely, right? It was like a before thing. They, uh, they used to pack my mom's nose with cocaine and then do the gum thing like you would if you were finished. Is up. that what she told you? <laughs> <Finish> <laughs> uh, yeah. I did it at the dentist. You brush miles. your teeth with your finger with it, you know what I mean? Then you... Uh, Go no, on. Miles. I've been at the dentist all night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where do you think I'm at? Game is big dummy. 206-421 round. Big it just sounds bad. It does. They used to pack her nose. nose. <laughs> and, and then finger the gums. <laughs> the but isn't that what coke people do? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's what you do anyway. Now we got a new Liam uh, update. Liam Howlett is, was the brains behind the prodigy. Hmm. But again, is that... A, That's an English brand. A band. We're just looking for a famous American Liam. That's all we're doing. Hello, Chris. Welcome to the news room. What's going on? Oh, no. Chris, are you sober or not sober? I am sober. All right. What are you doing, Chris? You working in a wrecking yard? Uh, no, a grocery store. Oh, really? What are you getting? <clears throat> uh, mostly beer. Okay. <laughs> okay. I dig it. All right. So food. All right. Make this sound every time you fart. Will you pick the Roadrunner, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone, or Porky Pig? Where are you going? Uh, Fred Flintstone would do that. You have the most upbeat fart. Yeah. Yeah, gotta make it a happy time. Every time I fart, it's kind of a happy time. But let's be honest. It's a little bit of relief. It's kind of funny. Maybe it stinks. Well, What's up? What are you doing there for a beer, Chris? You going quality or quantity? Um, it all depends on the really the time of year. Okay. What are you doing right now? So it would be August the 12th. What are you doing like right now at, say, this time of the year in the grocery store buying beer? Are you going for quality or quantity? Oh, quantity. Going Modelo. Okay. That's the second Modelo drinker we've had today. I feel like summertime is definitely more quantity. Right? Because you're outdoor drinking kind of thing. I prefer the Dos Equis. I don't mind Dos Equis. I don't mind Tecate. I've had a lot of Modelo, and I don't, there's nothing wrong with Modelo, man. I'm just getting sick of it. You know That's what I mean? I'm saying. I'm, Dos Equis is pretty tasty to me. What does Dos Equis mean? Uh, Come on, Miles. Dos Equis. Two. Yes. It's right there on the bottle. Two X's. Two boobs. Two horses. Two horses. It's not two horses? It means two X's. Is it just two X's? Yeah. Never mind. Credit to Mike. I feel like Modelo is what I said. here, though. What does Modelo mean? Uh, it's the name of a town? Nope. I found this out when I was in Mexico. My wife was about to divorce me. It means model. So I'd order Negro Modelo, but of course I would say, I'm going to order one of me, please. And I know it's stupid. I don't care. Black model. Black model. That's right. I like one of me. I have a buddy. His dad's name is Jack. When I'm with him, I order, or we order me and Cokes. <laughs> It'll never end. No. All right. Chris, here is your question. In the movie The Fellowship of the Ring, what does Gandalf do to the ring to make its secret inscription <laughs> to make its secret inscription invisible? Hence, not remove it from his penis. Oh man. Gandalf is sick. Uh... <laughs> oh man, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. He uh he was a very serious man, so when he was explaining it, let me show you how to read this! See, I was just going to say perform a spell. I don't remember. He kisses the ring. He heats him in fire, Miles. Oh. And then when it cools down, replaces it back in his pants. His championships. Chris, what are you doing? Removing every bottle from every case, inspecting it, and then throwing it against the wall? Is that how you buy beer? No, I'm not buying. I'm, I'm working. Oh, oh, oh so we working. have two beer guys. All right. Because usually we have James. Yeah. See, we thought you were buying beer, and I'm like, this dude is buying a lot mm -hmm. of beer. You got a problem, Chris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Your question: What union did Jimmy Hoffa head until his disappearance in 17 or 1975? What's that? What do you mean, wonderful trains? But there's a name. Think of probably the most famous labor union you know by name. Specifically because of him. BNSF, I don't. Teamsters. Teamsters. The Teamsters Union. Oh, yeah. Duh. Legend has it he's buried under a giant stadium. Question four. 
You know, when I was a kid, people used to say he was buried outside the uh, uh, some hotel in Ocean City. Really? Yeah. Carousel. Probably the people that own the hotel in Ocean City. Right? Because you're going to make money. People want to see it. I'd be like, ah, he's under my house. I'm pretty sure that hotel was built with mob money. I mean, it still has a tiny ice rink in it. I think pretty much everything in Ocean City was built with my mom. <laughs> All right, here's your question. In what state is the Pentagon physically located? Virginia, isn't it? It is. Oh, it is. is it in Arlington? Is that where it is? Right outside of Arlington, kind of. I, yeah, like I went to a broadcast school right next to the Pentagon, but technically that's Crystal City. Okay. Right. So I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's the Pentagon. So I don't know that it actually had, like, yeah, I think it might just send just letters, mean, like, right. the Pentagon. Yeah, like, it's its own town. It might be. I, I mean, the you thing even is have to massive. sign a zip code on that. Like, technically, probably you, has its own zip code. But, I mean, seriously, if you just wrote, you know, write the name, like, Miles Montgomery at the Pentagon. There's no way they come back, like, oh, we're not sure where the, like, bro, well, it's the Pentagon. Mm-hmm. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 Andrew, you on Team Sober or Team Not Sober? Sober. I'm driving. I'm just getting home. So soon to be not sober. Well, good for you, man. All right, Andrew. Men's room poll. You got to make this sound when you fart for the rest of your life. Will you pick the Roadrunner, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone, or Porky Pig? Roadrunner for sure. Me, me. <laughs> you got it. All right. That's weird. So technically it's in Arlington, but its address is Washington, D.C., and then a zip code. So I think you have to send it to an office, and then maybe they will get it over to the Pentagon. I still feel like you could just say the Pentagon. Yeah. Like, it's the Pentagon. There's not right? another. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, here's your question. What South American country's citizens are known as karaokas? Ooh, karaokes. Mm. Karaokas. Oh, man. In the city, uh, it doesn't sound anything like karaokas. <laughs> okay. But the citizens of this country are known as that. Of, uh, what South American country? I'm sorry, yeah. What country's citizens are known as karaoke? Okay. Countries, um. Nope, city. Sorry. Uh, it's a oh, city. city. It is a city in South America. Oh, it is a, it is a city. Yes. Um, I don't know. Uh. Don't name a city Brazil. in South America. What did you say? <laughs> I said Brazil. That would be a country, but you're right country. Rio yeah, de Janeiro? Rio, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh. That makes it easier than Rio de Janeiro. But it makes more sense. If you said, oh, I'm a Rio de Janeiro, I'd be like, he's from Rio de Janeiro. So if you say, I'm a Cariocas, we're like, good for you. I'm an yeah, Aries. Yeah, you can be from Boston and be a beaner. You can be a beaner, but you're a Bostonian. I think they lean Bostonian. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a term for people from Boston. Well, Boston. I mean, back in the day. <laughs> All right, your question. The CSS Hunley was the first of what type of watercraft to sink an enemy ship? Uh, submarine. There you go. Mm. Nice job, Andrew. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. Somebody made a very valid point here. There is Pentagon City, Virginia. Oh, yeah. Right? So Next to Crystal City. Let's just assume that perhaps the Pentagon is in Pentagon City. Is the Virginia. crystal in Crystal City? All the crystals. Yeah. That's why the strip crystal clubs. crystal in Crystal City? I don't know, but everything's underground. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Okay. Gave us Big Dummy, 206 421 Rock. Hello, Rad. Welcome to the men's room. Liquor and whores. Liquor and whores. Rad, are you sober or not sober? My lawyer has advised me to say sober. Okay. Probably the best call, Rad. What is Rad short for? I. That's a good question. I don't know. It's just a nickname that I got about 20 oh. years ago, and this always stuck. <laughs> Why did you get the nickname? Are you skateboarding? What are you doing? Uh, no, actually, um, the, the full nickname was actually Sergeant Rat, but I got to be honest with you, I've never been affiliated with the military. Mm. However... Uh, one of my best friends is Captain Awesome, who actually is a captain in the Navy. <laughs> okay. And uh, he, he he gave me that nickname when we were out karaoke in one night, and it just it never went away. Okay. I thought when you when I asked you what, what was Rad short for, you were going to say genetics or, you know, <laughs> it's hereditary. <laughs> uh, Rad, uh, make this sound for the rest of your life every time you fart. That's our men's room poll. Will you pick the Roadrunner, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone, or Porky Pig? 
I'm going Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> right there with you. You would be a hit at children's parties. Yes, you would. Just sit there, eat a can of beans and fart, and those kids would be entertained I wouldn't be day. afraid to try to sneak one on the plane either. i just let it go. Because they'd be upset, oh, yeah. but they'd laugh. Mm -hmm. Do it again, mister. Hey. <laughs> okay, kid, hold on. Hey, 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 <laughs> quick, uh, quick note. This air pressure does wonders. <laughs> <laughs> quick note, uh, Thrill, uh, the Spokane Chiefs is the uh, hockey team. The Spokane Indians is the baseball team. Yeah, the, the guy that gave me the information texted in right after I said it and said, hey, my bad, and did it. But I was like, it's already out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give me grief for it. <laughs> okay. All right, here's your question. Which of these cartoon characters is not a Hanna-Barbera character? Droopy Dog, Magilla Gorilla, Scooby-Doo, or He-Man? He-Man? It is He-Man. It is, in fact, He-Man. Damn. What they make Droopy Dog. Yeah, Droopy Dog. Magilla Gorilla. Like, what was Droopy Dog's angle? Yeah, I don't. Why he's, was he he's there? Just droopy. I mean, like, that's like, kind of his thing. He's just slow and droopy. Like, so is that? But like, what were his storylines? Right, right? Is he lazy? Is he? He's just. He's, like, he, he's just kind of. And then he's that little, guy. He's getting like. Well, I mean, that's kind of like Eeyore's thing, right? He's just kind of a. Everybody has a friend that's kind of a sourpuss, right? But but it was never about Eeyore, right? Generally, it's not even really about Winnie the Pooh. Most of it's about Tigger, but he's just part of the. So crew. he's like, but like Droopy Dog. Is he ever, the Debbie Downer? He, he would like get his own his own shots, and I'm like, I, I don't know. Why do I like you? What, what is I, your deal, man? Yeah. The, the sad the, thing is, you know there's people out there like, I love Droopy Dog. I'm, look, you can love them all you want. Yeah. I just feel like that's the person you get stuck next to on a long flight. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, because of my peanut allergy. Like, I don't want to hear it, man. I'm going to get double peanuts then. <laughs> 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 Hello, Angie. Welcome to the men's room. Hey. Hola. Hola. Angie, are you sober or not sober? I am so because I just got off work. All right, Angie, welcome to the show. Welcome to Big Dummy. All right, Angie, Big for the rest of your dumb. life, when you rip one, you're going to make this sound. Will you pick the Roadrunner, Woody Woodpecker, Fred Flintstone, or Porky Pig? I'm going with the Roadrunner. Ah, Roadrunner. Me, me. Oh, that is hot. All right, Angie. Here's so, your, here's your hey, question. Trill. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, next month is going to be 11 years since you married my husband and I. Oh, yeah. What she's saying is, uh, I did not oversee the wedding. We are all married to each other. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, the three That's of pretty us. Pretty cool. What do they call that now? A thruple? A thruple. Yeah, we're the original thruple. <laughs> Angie, congratulations on that. Because when I, when I did that, I'm thinking they got two weeks. Two weeks tops. Yeah. And this whole thing's done. Did you realize that, Angie? Everybody puts bets down at the wedding to figure out how long this thing's going to last. They have to. Yeah. Just a side bet. I mean, look, you do it too. Oh, you everybody do it. does. Yeah. I gave you two weeks. So congratulations on 11 years, though. Thank All right. You. Here is your question. Before they were doubled in 2017, what was the maximum number of characters one could use in a Twitter tweet? Hmm. One could use in the Twitter? Well, you're allowed to use so many letters, so many characters. Yeah, you can only use so many to fit a single message. Uh, oh. Said you were so close. Six? Six. Is it 32, 30? What? I have no idea. 140. <laughs> oh, one. You can do 140 characters. Okay. You think 140 characters? I couldn't remember. They probably doubled it because people are like, dude, I'm getting too many tweets. Well, right. And a lot of times it would take two tweets to write one thing. Right. You know what would be great is an edit button. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> edit button, Twitter. Edit. All right, Angie, here's your question. In what city is Graceland, the house of Elvis Presley? Tennessee. What city? Is the state. What uh, I don't know what city is it. You go in there like Paul Simon. Wet ribs. Oh. Come on, Angie. Uh, Baby King. I'm a huge fan, too. What? I'm a huge Elvis fan, and I... I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, well, name it. Just try. Name a city in uh, in, in Tennessee. Nashville. That's not a bad guess. Memphis, right? Memphis. Memphis. This yes. is back Memphis. All right. Question three, Angie. All right, Angie. True or false? The crew of the Apollo Eleven had to fill out customs forms when they landed back on Earth. <laughs> uh. True. 
There you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Think about stuff that. They brought back. Oh, uh, where have you anything to claim? Like, I was on the goddamn moon, man. Yeah. And you sent me there. I've got this astronaut ice cream. <laughs> right. <laughs> What do they expect them to have? I don't think really, they They got out and did stuff. I, I got this container of Tang. More My grandpa dummy. went to the moon and all I got was a scoop of t-shirt. More of Big Dummy coming up. 206-421-ROCK. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, GEICO can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners' or renters' coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today.